السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو میڈیکل کلوب ای لرننگ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئن ٹو ڈسکس ہینڈ فرام کے ایل ایم سیونتھ ایڈیشن اوکے لیٹس موو فارورڈ فرسٹ وی ہیو ہیئر دا کمپارٹمنٹس آف دا ہینڈ سوری کمپارٹمنٹس آف دا فارم اٹس اے یو کیو سم ٹائمس اٹ ڈو کام ان ایگزام دین وی ہیو دا گرپس دیز گرپس آر امپارٹنٹ فار وائبا So you don't have to go for the detail. If you read the summary over here, then I think it's enough because these are only important for viva. Then we have here the muscles of the hand are very important and muscles are supposed to be covered from the tables. You don't have to go for the details. Yes, this diagram is important for the concept based learning so that you should know Uh, about the especially the position of the tendons this is important for mcqs then we have yes this is the table for the muscles of the hand you have to learn this completely these are very important for the mcqs vivas and scqs for each and everything then we have here again this is the detail of the muscles Um, you don't have to go for the details, but you should know which muscles come under hypothenar eminence and which muscles come under thenar muscles. So you should know these. Then we have arteries of the hand. Again, arteries of the hand are very, very important for scenario-based questions. And arteries are also supposed to be covered from the tables. But you have to do arteries for uh, from the theory as well. So sh you should know the especially the uh, these, what we call as superficial uh, and deep armor arches. These are very famous UQ. These are written here as well. But uh, these are very very elaborated, easy to learn in BD. You should also consult them from there. Then we have. Here we have another artery in hand is again important for the scenario based UQ. Then we have radial artery in hand, again scenario based UQ. Then if we talk about the nerves of hand are very, very, very important for SCQs. Um, on and off the questions usually do come in exams so scenario based question about the injury of the nerves, at what level the nerves are injured, which disability may occur, which motor is lost, which sensory uh, sensation is lost, these type of questions do come. Then we have again the table for the nerves of the hand, you have to do this completely, very important. Okay, this is the cutaneous innervation for the hand. Um, you have to learn this diagram for SEQ, usually the question comes, draw the cutaneous innervation for the hand. So you should, uh, you should draw these, you should know the area of distribution and the nerves supplying which area. Again, this is important, the dermatome of the hand, this question do come, uh, to, so you should learn this. Then we have the median nerve in hand, again very important, then the ulnar nerve important. And same goes for the radial nerve in hand. Okay. If we talk about the surface anatomy of the hand, this is a viva question. This is a question uh, the examiner asked you to uh, mark the course of the specific structure. It may be artery, vein, or nerve on the skin of your hands or arms. So this is a separate question. This question has nothing to do with the theory. And for that purpose, you should see these diagrams. These diagrams are important. We have the very famous UQ, the superficial palmar arch and the deep palmar arch are very important. Okay, the crease, just uh, read these. These are not that important, but should, you should give them a read. Then we have anatomical snuff box. It's a UQ. It is very important for viva as well. Um, why is it is called snuff box? Um, it's uh, some type of typical viva question for uh, so it's you should know this it's not written over here but it has a basis like uh, drug addicts usually snip from the uh, from the snuff box that's where from that area uh, so it's that's why it's called snuff box 
Uh, yeah, this is the reason. Then we have we are here on clinicals. Uh, you should know the difference contractual palmar fascia important, hand infection not that important, tendosynovitis. Um, you should know. Yes. Then we have here lesions of medina very important. Scenario based questions do come from here, very, very important for the MCQs, by and SQs. Then we have the carpal tunnel syndrome. Again, carpal tunnel is very, very famous and important. Clinical, uh, not that important. Then we have ischemia of digits. Okay, you should know this. Then this the trauma to the knee, median nerve. Again, very important. Scenario based UQs do come from here. Then we have ulnar canal syndrome, important. Handlebars neuropathy. This is important. Then you have the radial of injury in arm and hand disability. These type of the questions are mainly the scenario based questions. You should know them. And we are done with the marking of the hand from KLM 7th edition. I hope you understand. Please do consult MBBS crack books for SEQs and SEQs. Thank you and Allah Hafiz. Medical Globe introduces its series of successful publications. MBBS cracks the benchmark of all containing all the chapter-wise questions of prime importance, all annual and subtly solved university questions, questions to ace your vivas, chapter polls, and of course, we have incorporated all the labeled and histologic and anatomic models in high resolution for your distinction level OSPI preparations. Medical Globe has also launched a gem in the medical world to master every concept for your multiple choice questions, the MCQ cracks encompassing UHS, LAMS, and many others, revealing the UHS MCQ rank, your practice MCQs, and topic-wise MCQs. Get your MCQ and MBBS cracks at your doorstep by placing your order at 0335 66